Okay guys, I found out that uh, my uh, Fluke 189 has a problem reading voltages. So let me show you what it does. Right now, I'm gonna try to measure this battery. And this battery, sorry, it's just hard to do it with one hand. Uh, this battery reads 0 0.1049 volts DC. And then if I change this to my other fluke, Uh, 1.4 which is correct now let me turn this look off and I did open it already so we can save the time about trying to unscrew everything and it has a brand new batteries because I put in brand new batteries. I already checked the fuses are okay. And let me take this battery away. Let's see if I can open it. There you go. Okay. Now it's open and everything looks fine here. But then when I, I took out the two screws here and I made that easy. So, you know. We don't have to waste the time. So anyway, put this away. This one over here. Okay, so this guy is blown right here. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this guy right here. So uh, I checked everything else, everything else is fine. It looks like I need to replace this part right here and then we'll see uh, what's going on. I'm also gonna check you know, the other components around and make sure that everything is fine because there's gotta be a reason why he blew. So uh, I'll get back to you when uh, this is done, all right? Hopefully I'll be able to fix it. Okay, so I removed the resistor now I'm going to try to find out what the value is and uh, replace it and see if that works. Hey guys, so right now I replaced it with a 27 kilo ohm resistor. You can see it right there. Um, actually, the stuff that you see there is not carbon. I already it's, it's already cleaned out and I also measure it. Um, So there is no contact there even though um, I'm going to try to clean it a little bit more because it looks really bad on the camera. But it doesn't look as bad on the microscope but I will clean it a little bit more um, and then we'll test it out and see what happens. Okay guys, I finished it. Now I'm going to put it all together and uh, we're going to test it out and see if it works. All right. This is the Fluke 189 RMS multimeter. So we'll check it out. So what I'm doing is uh, I just put the bore there. I didn't put the screws yet. And I'm going to put the back without the screws. Let's see if I can do it. It's kind of difficult. That's why I keep on stopping. And post in the video. It has brand new batteries. I'm not going to put the cover yet. Uh, we're going to test it out and see. Uh, let me put the leads. So 
sorry about the crappy video, it's just that um, I don't have a fancy one I'm using my phone. Alright, so that's that. Let's see if it does turn on. And it does turn on. That's good. And we can go to ohms and uh, it's okay. Now we're gonna test it on DC. <clears throat> and we're gonna use the same battery right here. Right there, so it doesn't run away. Okay, so it reads 1.4227, and we're gonna try my other multimeter. This one is a 289, and we're going to try it on volts DC. And just remember, guys, it was 1.427, I believe. And this one reads, I can get it right, right there. Uh, 1.4225. So it's not too far out. I'll say that's a fixed. Alright guys, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye bye.